Alright guys, so this is my new Anubius and Bucephalandra propagation setup and I'm feeling pretty good about this one. It is a bit different than my normal type of a setup. You'll notice that I have the water level actually up above the level of the cups and you can see that the water is just barely above those cups and I have the hydrogen right up to about the level of the cups as well. And you'll notice back here I have the outlet from a pump which I have situated actually over in this corner. And then I have a, a tube that's pumping the water around this corner to that far corner. And the idea here is that I'm circulating water from the farthest point possible to the farthest point possible. So water's coming, getting sucked in here and then pumped out at the outlet point over here. And that is going to create essentially a river type of an ecosystem. Um, which is going to be very similar to how both Anubius and Bucephalandra are found growing in the wild. And to further help with keeping the water as high quality as possible, I did add an air stone over here as well. And the idea is, is you want to try to keep any biofilm from developing on this, the surface of this water because you want all of the nutrients that are contained within the water to be circulated very efficiently around the rhizomes of these plants. I think that that is really what's going to make the difference and really boost growth um, considerably with this type of a setup. You might be wondering what I'm using for fertilizer and I'm actually using um, Thrive by Nylock G or Nylock G, I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to pronounce that, but I love this stuff. I use it in my planted aquariums and I chose to go with this at least initially with this setup because my one main concern and actually the reason why I haven't been using uh, the water level so high like this in past setups is because I'm concerned with getting overrun with algae. So I'm using a planted aquarium fertilizer as opposed to a hydroponic fertilizer with this setup because the overall concentrations of nutrients are going to be a bit lower um, with a fertilizer like this as compared to with hydroponic fertilizer. So the idea is, is that that's going to help to reduce the chances that algae could really get going in this setup. Another reason I think that this setup is going to be so successful is because by having the water level just barely above the top of the cups here, you're allowing for that circulation of nutrients, but you're also allowing the plants to easily uh, breach the surface of the water and obtain atmospheric CO2. Additionally, the air stone over there is circulating in fresh gases to circulate within the system. A number of the plants have already sent leaves up out of the water, which is excellent. I really do want them to get that atmospheric CO2 to boost growth. And not only is the Anubius doing that, but if you look over here, you can also see that some of the Bucephalandra is also sending leaves up out of the surface as well, which is excellent. The substrate I'm using in here is Hydrotin. I love this stuff and I've used it in a ton of different setups and I'm using it again here. In total I have 118 plants in this setup and this is a 40 breeder for those of you that are interested in what the size of the aquarium is. Inspiration for this setup actually came from this setup over here, which has Anubius growing immersed. I actually had the water level in this tank all the way up to the surface and recently I was kind of interested in paludariums again. I, that's actually what got me started in the hobby. So I just decided to go ahead and lower the water level in here. And lo and behold, within just a few days, every single Anubius plant in here sent up a new leaf. And each leaf is like dramatically healthier than the previous leaves. So um, you'll notice that the rhizomes themselves are under the water, but the leaves are coming up out of the water which was the basic principle that I used in designing this setup here.
I'm feeling super confident with this setup. The Anubius and the Bucephalandra have all responded very well in just a few days. So I'm confident that this one's gonna do really well, guys, and I'll definitely give you updates in the coming weeks. All right, guys, if you like this setup, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. Um, I also do sell aquarium plants on my website, and I'll have that linked in the description if you guys wanna check that out. All sales over there definitely help to support the channel.